episode, so I'm going to try to do this live while I drive. Okay, it is 9.41 Eastern Standard Time, September 16th, I think, 2018. I'm almost positive it's the 16th or the 15th. It's Saturday. Keep the Sabbath holy. At any rate, that just got rid of a bunch of uh, atheists, so that's good. The Sunspot Observatory being closed down and the town being evacuated by the FBI. That's the latest thing that's going on, and people are attributing it, attribute, attributing it to NASA seeing objects eclipsing the sun by 90%. So something the size of the sun almost by 90%. Allegedly was recorded by NASA going one way and then returning, coming back the other way. NASA claimed it was the moon, but that's ridiculous on so many levels. The fact that NASA stream, unbelievable. I'm in Peabody, Massachusetts. I'm not in Venezuela or deep, dark Africa. You can't keep a cell phone signal. At any rate, when they started spraying the skies... Right there and then, it made me think that these guys are ready. When 2018 rolled around, I told you that these guys were more than likely, almost definitely going to pull a massive false flag event because 2018 numerically breaks down to 9-11. It's just what they do. Their track record is impeccable as far as using certain dates to pull off certain things against certain people, meaning us. The Sunspot Observatory in the town that it's in are tiny. The FBI is shutting it down. To me, it just looks like they're prepping. They're absolutely prepping. Now, tie that in with the fact that SpaceX just said they're going to put a reusable rocket with people in it around the moon. Does this sound like we're getting set up? You see what I'm saying? Does this sound like we're getting set up? I watched another YouTube channel this morning real quick while I was drinking my coffee. I don't subscribe to them, but they have almost 2 million subscribers and they are, they consider themselves truthers. I'll tell you what, you can't be a truther and make it to several million subscribers. It doesn't work. They help push forward the alien UFO agenda. You see what I'm saying? And they also talk about the news as though it's a reliable source, which just blows me away. Everybody, for the most part, awake or not, pretty much know that the news, the mainstream news, is a joke. These guys are reporting a hurricane, and people that are into this stuff, that you know, really track weather anomalies and so forth, are saying that the story that, the, that, the, that Noah is telling people and what's really happening are two different stories. We've seen them doing this for for, for years now, where they're making storms sound like an axe murder is coming to town. We're grown people. We're grown-up Americans. We can't handle weather. Long story short, I can't quite figure out what the deal is with the Sunspot Absor- Observatory and the mercury that's stored under it. Anybody know anything about that? Because I can't find anything, especially right now because I'm driving. Mercury stored under it? That sounds to me like what the Nazi bell was. Was it red and silver mercury spinning clockwise and counterclockwise? At any rate, between this story, the feds evacuating the town of like, what, 14 people in New Mexico... Jordy Rose talking about bringing the old ones, which he called aliens, into our reality. Them stepping up the spring of the sky and trying to control the weather even more. It sounds like these guys might actually have their shit together enough where they're going to try to pull off a staged invasion. Forget about Project Blue Blue Beam. That's old technology. They are far and away well, well more technologically advanced than Project Blue Beam and Holograms. If these guys are going to bring, if they're going to tear the veil, or if they've already teared the veil and they have an opening, 
where other entities can come and go as they see fit, if they're going to give them physicality somehow through all their Boston Dynamic robots and whatever else they have in underground bunkers, this really sounds like this is the setup. Big accident in the middle of uh, 95. Also, Lawrence, North Andover, Andover, Massachusetts, that whole story, the whole story stinks to high heaven. To high heaven. If you're working on a high pressure gas line, the your main focus is making sure the, the gas pressure is correct before you fill the street back in or you shut it back down. The the uh, what was it, Massachusetts the MEMA, MEMA and FEMA telling people to go down in their houses and shut their gas off is ludicrous. If you really have a genuine emergency where houses are blowing up left and right, which is what happened, you kill the gas, you kill the power, is what it is. Sorry for the inconvenience, people, but at least your house won't blow up. Them telling people to go down the go down in their building and shut the gas off, a gas cock on a house gas meter has seals in it. If there truly was an, a high pressure gas leak, shutting the gas cock, which is what it's called, off at your gas meter, the high pressure is still going to blow out the seals. This entire thing just smacks of a false flag. I just can't prove it. But some other people are pretty damn close to it. I guarantee someplace in the background but you know push aside the union issues the you know all the news articles talking about gas line problems in Lawrence and North Andover put that all to the side and see if somebody's trying to buy all that property or if you know the government wants to take over all that property because that's usually what's behind something like this at any rate I hope this whole thing works I can't upload from my phone anymore like I've been doing since the day I started this channel. So I don't know what's up with that. Going to meet a couple of subscribers because it is the weekend. The Freedom Rally is going on right now in Boston. I'm going to try to hit that Monday. But, it, you know, everybody smoking pot isn't my main concern in life. I'm saying honestly. But I will try to hit that. At any rate, Richie from Boston, like, share, subscribe, or don't. If you can find anything out about that mercury that's that's allegedly stored in that area, rjcjr10 at yahoo.com. And I am out.